So in this video I will show you how to uh, make the second uh, first row second cell but I already have the second cell but it is the same for the next uh, eight more cells okay so you are going to use the same main yarn okay so in the in the pattern it is referred as gray yarn so it, it is the main yarn and you don't need to cut that okay so you have the last stitch from your previous cell and then you will pick up the stitches here refer how many uh, stitches to pick up okay and um, after picking up the required number of stitches i will come back to show you and um, how to do the uh, backwards loop cast on so i have picked up the uh, number of stitches which is mentioned in the pattern and then now i will cast on the the stitches again refer the number uh, in the pattern like this okay wrap the yarn on the finger on the thumb and then just cast on like this so this is the backwards loop cast on so I will come back after I cast on the number of stitches okay So I have the required number of stitches which I picked up and then the required number of stitches which I cast on using backwards loop cast on and for uh, second row cell uh, second cell row 1 to 21 and you know, we will repeat we will have to repeat first cell row 2 to 22 okay so you have to just turn the work and then refer the pattern okay so this is fairly easy i will come back after this to show you how it looks like so now i have completed uh, row number two and then for this uh, you know we are going to use the new color or it's a new yarn so for the first one it says slip one and then knit one so slip one we are doing it slip one knit wise okay so i do slip one knit wise and then for the knit one i'm going to use new color okay and then refer the pattern slip one with yarn at the back and then knit one knit uh, three so you have to repeat that and then i will come back to show you you know how it looks like after i repeat uh, till the uh, till row number six so this is how the pattern looks like uh, after row number six and for row number seven uh, when you are trying to change the yarn you know so make sure that when we do slip one and then for the next one we are going to change the yarn uh, so just make sure that this working yarn is dropped on top and the new yarn which you are going to use pick up from below okay so this one should be dropped on top and this should be on below so that you have a twisted yarn here and it will the edging will look beautiful like this so that's it and then I will show you uh, how it looks like after completing this cell so it's pretty easy just follow the pattern so I have completed uh, this cell and I just completed uh, cell row 22 now i'm going to bind off so it says bind off till you have last one stitch okay so i will show you how to bind off and also carry this yarn if you are going to use the same second yarns or the same color yarn to the next cell okay so for the bind off it's just a normal bind off okay so i will just bind off like this and when i'm binding off the second one you know i will take this yarn 
like this okay so this is the yarn i'm going to use it to the for the next cell also if i'm not going to use it like this different different color i will just cut it here and then sew it later on but if i'm going to use the same yarn to the next cell then i will put it on the needle like this and then knit this stitch and then bind off the next stitch bind off the stitch so that that is it i'm going to do and then when i i am going to use this yarn next time it will be easier okay so that is it just one tagging at the back of the work and that should be enough for uh, carrying at the back if you are going to use the same color to the next cell but i'm not going to use for my um, this cal cow cow also because i am just going to use random colors from my scare scrap yarn okay and many of you asked what is the size of the cell okay i'll just do a let's let's just see how what is the size okay so this is the middle so it is about see if you see almost uh let's say we'll do like this okay it is almost almost two inches two and in, two point five centimeters short of two inches i think yeah i think yeah this is correct so if you see let's check okay so my length is like this okay this is the height and if i have to hmm, this is a bit tricky but this is about here if i say this is the like now width of the cell okay so next video i will show you how to join this and then go to the second uh, round or the second row in the next video so just enjoy your knitting and uh, this is fairly easy don't stress out follow what is there in the pattern and if you have any difficulty understanding message me and we can always chat